Loyola's race to the Final Four is sparking new interest in the school's last NCAA title in 1963. The youth of America, they need to know what that generation went through. They need to know the hardships they went through, and they need to carry the baton. CBS 2's Jim Williams has more about the lasting legacy of the history-making championship. For Jerry Harkness, every few steps brings another request for a selfie. Oh, that's nice. Thank you so much. For John Egan, the calls are nonstop. Maybe 40, 50 calls. Who's calling? Call everybody. Egan and Harkness, two stars of Loyola's 1963 championship squad. We won! We won! Are in demand. The 2018 Ramblers' march to the Final Four has ignited. And it was our first big win on the road. Yeah. New appreciation for the only team from the state of Illinois to win an NCAA basketball title. Many times I, I'm the beneficiary of the fact that somebody remembered you did this and you did this for us. In the championship game, the 63 Ramblers beat Cincinnati in overtime in dramatic fashion. He passes out to Hunter. Hunter shoots. He off the rim. Brown gets it scores. It's over. It's over. I, I have felt very... Um, blessed to have been part of it because I know good things have happened to me because of it. But there were hardships that year. Loyola coach George Ireland started four black players, breaking an unwritten rule to limit the number of African Americans on the court. The Ramblers faced hostility. All of a sudden, they would start throwing things and yelling things at players for no reason. Coach Ireland told us in this 1993 interview he had a command. Don't just rebound, but tear it off. It's remarkable uh, what happened and, and the impact that it had, not only on Loyola's program, but uh, college basketball throughout the country. A long time ago, but the memories are relived today amid new glory. And we're all here in support of them. Reliving your memories through these kids. That's how you do it. <laughs> Jerry Harkness enjoying a conversation with Ryan Baker. John Egan, an attorney who still lives in the Chicago area, says he often talks to his teammates, including Harkness, who lives in Indianapolis. And they've had lots of discussions in the stands watching their beloved Ramblers. Erica, seven of nine members of that 63 championship squad are still alive. It is so great to celebrate them for that championship, but right. also for the strength that they had in difficult times. We're so grateful we're in a different era. Difficult times in the South when people were throwing things, throwing cups and right. other items at them and using the N-word. It was a rough time, but as uh, Fred Mitchell said, they persevered and won that championship. They did. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Jim.